Hello everybody, I am so excited to show you the new reports tab. So I couldn't show you last week because I actually recorded my video right before they released it. So I was still in beta and I'm not allowed to show anything's beta. So now I can show you that it's official. So if you are in your KDP bookshelf and you click on reports, it will bring you to the new reports page, which I've been using for years and absolutely adore. So I'm gonna walk you through this screen a little bit if you're new to it, even if you're not new, maybe I can show you a few things. Um, but one of the most important things for those of you who absolutely want that old screen still, right down here on the left, it has reports old. If you click on that, it will take you right back to your old version. So this is your main dashboard. It's going to tell you all the information about today specifically. So your royalties for today, your orders for today, your KENP for today, top earning books. When you scroll down, you can see your top formats and your top marketplaces. So this is some good information. Back up here, let's go ahead and click on orders and we're just gonna go one by one here. On the orders page, you're going to be able to see all of your orders. It is going to default for the month. That means it's not the past 30 days, but starting from the first of the current month. Sometimes this can get confusing because the past one did show a standard 30 day cycle. So if your orders are looking low or anything seems off, it is counting from the first. Now, if you wanna change that up here, you can have all these filters so you can click and you can choose um, this month, last month, last 90 days, anything like that, or do a custom if you just wanna see the last 30 days, like you could see before. You can filter by authors, so if you're working with any pen names, you can filter by certain books, by marketplaces, formats, pricing, and distribution. This is interesting because this is where you're going to see if they ordered on expanded distribution or if it was Amazon or Kindle sales. So before how you had that colored chart on the old one, this is going to be where you can check on and off to see that here. You also have a reporting view of seeing all books or comparing books. It can only compare 10 at once, so you will lose orders when you click over to the screen if you have more than 10 books because it is only looking at your top 10. So when we scroll down, it will break down all of your titles and break it down by how many Kindle units sold, how many print books it sold, and how many total units. Now you can break this down even further by clicking any of these arrows and it will break it down by countries. Now this is for all of them, but if you wanna go ahead and click on any of these others, it will break them down by country per book. On KENP Red, that is gonna be your Kindle edition normalized pages. So that does give you some royalties. It is not much. And if you're a children's book author, mainly like myself, uh, this isn't ever gonna really add up to much unless you're getting some serious page reads. Now, my children's books are laid out as spreads, which only counts as one page. So I actually get even less than other authors because I am only getting paid for one page when they are getting two pages at once, if that makes sense. Again, you have the filters, the comparing, and if you scroll down, you can see all of that comparison. This month to date tab is new, just like it says, and this is a report about information of your sales, transactions, and KENP for the current month and prior. So this is a good chart to look at if you are all about numbers and you really want to see it in a streamlined way. This promotions tab is actually really cool. So this will track any promotion you schedule through KDP, such as their free ebook giveaways or their discounted days. All you have to do is click on one of these arrows and it will go ahead and tell you what is going on with that. Now, as you can see, these two are in progress and then I have others completed and I can check on all of them. I really like that because I feel like there wasn't really a good way to see how your promotions did other than tracking and writing down the numbers yourself. So I do really appreciate the breakdown. Here we have our pre-orders tab. And again, it will tell you how many pre-orders you get. This again was previously on the other page, but this does break it down. Again, if you click on any of these arrows by country. 
Under tools is my favorite tool, the royalties estimator. This is what tells me if I'm on target or not. So this will break down your estimated royalties. Now it is estimated because of KENP. That is something to where it's only off by a matter of cents. If that, uh, for me, it's pretty much accurate. But again, it is an estimate, so you may have um, a bigger variance if your KENP is something that you heavily rely on. Again, you have all of the filters up here. And if you scroll all the way down, you can see your breakdown by ebooks, print, K E N P royalties, total royalties, and total royalties calculated in US dollars, which I very much appreciate because the other screen broke it down based on other currencies. And this one tells you what you're exactly getting in US dollars. So there's none of that guesswork or trying to calculate currency rate changes in your head. There is also the dashboard in here for Kindle Vela. Now I don't personally use Kindle Vela, so I don't have anything here to show you. And then down here for statements, you have prior month's royalties and this will break it down by month. This is really, really good to use for taxes and to make sure that you are keeping track of what you're getting paid. And then again, really good for taxes is your payments. So this tracks all of your payments by the marketplace that paid you, the date they paid you, and how much they paid you. So this is, again, really important to have. Of course, I already showed you the old reports is still able to be accessed here. I am assuming at some point that will probably disappear, but I'm sure it will be safe for a little while as we're in this transition period. And then you can take a survey and let them know what you think. If you think there should be any features added, do KDP a favor and take a survey. I have definitely filled out a few over my beta with this to make sure I am getting screens that I'd prefer to see. One of those was those colored bar charts that I was actively advocating for and I'm really glad to have those in there. Again, I would still like to see if we could see more than 10 books at a time. That's something I know I personally want. So if you do want to see something, let them know and let me know down below in the comments. What do you think about this new site? Do you like it better than the old version? Do you like it less? What are things you hope to see comes in the future? I would love to know, so comment down below. And I truly hope this video has helped. I will see you all next time with hopefully some more cool updates. Bye.